ninjas, I'm Kayo. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you a very easy combo for beginners. It would be a small set from top rope until the ending freeze. If you will need more help for your breaking, both if you are a beginner, but also if you are more advanced, check out my Patreon link in the description. I'm gonna show you everything slowly with counts. So in this way, you're gonna learn how to do it on beat. I'm gonna do the footworks spinning clockwise and the ending freeze on the right side. If you prefer spinning counterclockwise or doing the freeze on the left, just mirror what I'm doing and do it on the other side. I'm gonna start with the right leg. If you want to, you can start with the left. Very slowly, just two salsa steps, one to the side and one to the front. One and two, three and four. Once more, one and two, three and four. From here, Indian step, five and six, or six with the foot down as you prefer. Once more, one and two, three and four, five and six. From here, jump backwards, six, seven, seven and eight, go down at the one. Usually in breaking, when you do go downs or drops, you want to go down to the one. It's not like a strict rule, so sometimes you can change, but it would be better if you do it on the one. Let's repeat the first eight slowly. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one. From here, from the hook, we want to do a six step, one round, one, and two, three, and four. You end up in the position zero on the four. From the position zero, half of a three step, four, five, six, and then three step on the other side, seven and eight. Let's repeat the second eight once more. So from the hook, one, you go down, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's repeat the first two eight slowly. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two and three, four, five, six, seven and eight. From the three step here, second eight, we want to go forward again once more. One and two. Hook again at the two this time. From the hook, slide towards the left side and sit down on the floor. So push with your foot in this way and then you go to your back. So you start from here, you kick, you go to your back and you end up here in a back row position. Better if you push your hips up and if you stay with your head down on the floor. Once more, so eight, one, and two, three, four. From here, kick out, five, six, seven, eight. And from here, we want to turn to the breeze at the one. And one, and you end up the round. Let's repeat the last part slowly. Eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. And from here you stand up. You can turn and end up like this or end up bam, in a b-boy stance as you prefer. The important thing, especially if you are a beginner, is that when you stand up, when you finish your round, you look Confident, strong and clean. You don't want to make it look like you're tired at the end of the round. Always remember that the purpose of a tutorial is to give you a general understanding of how a move could be learned. But each move can be mastered in many different ways and there is no perfect tutorial for it. Each person has a different body shape, skills level, strength and flexibility. What could be useful for you could be totally useless for someone else and the other way around. 
What I try to do with my Patreon is to offer you a clear and customized plan to follow that works for you. If you only rely on tutorials, there is a high chance you are missing some points or doing some extra steps you don't need to do. If you want to have individual feedback, a specific training plan or exclusive content, check out my Patreon link in the description and choose the monthly plan that fits you best. Remember that you can always cancel or change plan. So let's repeat the whole set slowly. 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 and 2. 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1. And lift yourself up, bang, bang. Okay, this is the small set. Repeat it very slowly until it feels second nature. It should feel very natural, very smooth, very easy to do. If it's hard for you, don't make it faster. Practice it slow. Count it by yourself. Don't practice it with music yet. Before practicing it with music, make sure you can do it very easily and you feel very comfortable doing it slowly. Then try to increase the speed a little bit, still without music. Try to count a little bit faster and make sure you still feel comfortable even if you count faster. If there are some steps that feel um, a little bit unnatural for you, feel free to change it a little bit and to adjust this set how you prefer. If you are more advanced, you can take it and do variations and changes to this set. The important thing is that you try to do it smooth, clean and on the beat. First on counts, then a little bit faster with counts, then maybe even a little bit faster with counts and then try with music. Start with slow music first, with slow beats, then try to change songs and try it with different beats. Oh, and by the way, if you need breaking shoes, I recommend these ones, the ones that I'm wearing. You can find different colors, different models. If you are interested in buying them, I can send you a discount code. Just message me on my Instagram at Caio Pro. I'm gonna do it just a little bit faster, but then it's up to you to practice it a little faster and with which songs you like. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Five and six, seven, eight and one and two, three and four. Five, six and seven, eight. One and two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> you don't need to count the ending part actually, but if you do, it's even better. Up to you. If you will need more help for your breaking, check out my Patreon link in the description and see you next time with a new tutorial. Yo ninjas!